China and Russia join forces. China's Beidou helps Russia tide over the difficulties which may bring new opportunities. The United States couldn't sit still this time. Seeing that the situation in Russia and Ukraine was in a state of anxiety, it did not expect that China's Beidou would extend a helping hand and successfully help Russia resolve the crisis. Not only that, but it may also break the monopoly of the United States. Faced with these, the United States can only stare with anger. Let's take a closer look in this video. In recent years, China's aerospace field has made good progress. The Beidou system has reached cooperation with many countries and even helped Russia solve its urgent needs. From the perspective of the United States, China and Russia will usher in new opportunities when they join forces. What would happen if the two giants, China and Russia, joined forces? How did China resolve the crisis in Russia? At present, the world's mainstream satellite navigation systems include GPS of the United States, GLONASS of Russia and Beidou of China. Among these three major systems, GPS in the United States is the positioning system with the earliest time, the greatest influence, and the largest number of users. It can locate and navigate in all directions by sea, land, and air. The United States first developed GPS only for military use to meet their global strategy. It is mainly used for some military purposes such as intelligence collection, nuclear explosion monitoring, and emergency communications. Later, after discovering its convenience, GPS was gradually applied to daily life. They even let everyone use it for free in order to improve their image. But what is the truth? In fact, it is because the previous technology is not advanced enough, they cannot be limited to the region of use, and can only be widely used around the world. With the development of technology, the United States has been able to take the initiative and they began to charge. People are already accustomed to using navigation, whether it is a mobile phone or a car, it is inseparable from it. But at this time, if people want to continue to use GPS, they can only buy it from the United States. In this way, the United States has also made a lot of money. Over the next few decades, GPS usage peaked. At that time, the initiative was in the hands of the Americans, they could do whatever they wanted, and they could shut it down immediately. Not only that, but some people reported that GPS is like an eye, staring at them all the time, and may even eavesdrop on various secrets, and their every move is under the control of the United States. After all, they have such a precedent before. In the Gulf War in 1991, the GPS of the United States became famous in the first battle. At that time, Iraq, known as the number one military power in the Middle East, led a million-strong army to a frontal war with the United States. But only after more than 40 days, the U.S. military won a big victory, and the most important reason is GPS. During the war, the United States used 72 satellites to provide the U.S. Air Force with all-weather precise positioning, which can be said to be where to hit. This combat power was completely off the hook, and they even interfered with Iraq's electronic equipment. Without communications equipment, the Iraqi front line was in disarray. Faced with such a situation, Iraq can only be slaughtered by others, and there was no room for resistance at all. It can be said that it has lost a complete defeat. Through this war, countries around the world also understood the importance of satellites. If the United States wants to make a bad show during a war, suddenly shut down the satellite, or send a wrong code to other countries, the consequences will be very serious. Countries will always be at their fingertips if they rely too heavily on US GPS. 
Russia quickly realized this problem, so it started building its own satellite navigation system in 1993, but progress was slow. It was not until 2007 that their system began to be officially put into use, and it was finally applicable to domestic satellite positioning and navigation systems. It wasn't until 2009 that they expanded their servers all over the world to be able to determine land, sea, and air coordinates, speed information, and more. Although there were 27 satellites in orbit because GLONASS was a first-generation satellite, its lifespan was very limited and 16 satellites were out of service. Although Russia is launching new satellites to replace old ones, its economy has struggled in recent years and has run out of money to upgrade systems or buy the spare parts needed to build them. In addition, since its establishment, GLONASS has mainly served the military field and its share in civilian use is very low, making it unable to achieve economic benefits, leading to the risk of shutting down the system. At this critical moment, Russia thought of China, so China chose to help Russia and signed an agreement on satellite cooperation. The interconnection between Beidou Satellite Navigation System and GLONASS marks a new stage of China and Russia space cooperation. This is conducive to the mutually beneficial cooperation between China and Russia in a wider range of fields and is of great significance for promoting the new industrial revolution and implementing the innovation-driven development strategy. In the future, China and Russia are expected to carry out joint exploration in more high-tech aerospace fields such as satellite communications and remote sensing detection, further expand the aerospace application market and achieve common development. Beidou Satellite Navigation is a satellite positioning system independently developed by China. Although it is a new satellite positioning system, it is not inferior to GPS at all, and even stronger than the GPS in the United States in many places. The performance of the entire Beidou system is excellent, and it performs well in both civilian and military fields. In terms of civilian use, the global positioning accuracy is less than 10 meters, and the timing accuracy is better than 20 nanoseconds. The positioning accuracy in the Asia-Pacific region is less than 5 meters, and the timing accuracy is better than 10 nanoseconds. In fact, people use Beidou to locate in mainland China, and the accuracy can reach 2 to 3 meters, and the accuracy of lane-level navigation can be obtained. In terms of military use, although the specific value has not been announced to the public, it is definitely more than 10 times that of civilian use, that is, it can be about 0.2 to 0.3 meters. There are also comments on the internet that it is 0.1 meters, and the current military accuracy of the US GPS is only 0.3 meters. It can be seen that, to some extent, Beidou positioning has surpassed the performance of the US GPS. It is worth mentioning that the cooperation between China and Russia can also help China open up the Russian market and drive related industries. At present, the relevant output value driven by Beidou has reached 400 billion yuan, and it has been widely used in many fields. For example, a rice transplanter equipped with the Beidou system can complete a worker's week's work in only one hour, bringing agricultural production into a new field. Today, Beidou is a system for China's national security and future development, and all technical and nuclear components are independently developed. After the China-Russia Beidou Satellite Navigation System Cooperation Agreement was reached, China used the Beidou system to open a new short message service in South Africa. This marks an important step in the global business layout of the Beidou system. China also stated that it will continue to promote cooperation with overseas users 
and promote the global application of the Beidou system to better support the construction of the Belt and Road. According to data, the Beidou system currently covers more than 200 countries and regions around the world, providing an important guarantee for global peace and the common destiny of mankind. In order to build a community of shared future, China continues to bring practical benefits to the regions along the route, and even the vast number of developing countries with the shared Beidou satellite navigation system business. Looking back at the development of Beidou, it took a total of 26 years and invested more than 12 billion US dollars. More than 300,000 Beidou builders in China worked together to realize the leap from zero to one in Beidou satellite navigation system. It can even be said that China's Beidou system is already the most powerful competitor of the US GPS. In the future, China's Beidou system will also change the pattern of the global satellite navigation system and let the world understand the gold content of Chinese manufacturing. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.